Welcome back to my channel and happy Nordstrom anniversary sale. The Nordstrom anniversary sale, I believe is one of my first YouTube videos I ever put out. I did a try on and it was so much fun. I found so many of you guys through that video and a lot of you found my channel. So I'm so excited for today's try on. The sale has launched for Icon, which is Monday today, and then it will open up the next tier Wednesday and then everyone with a card can shop on Friday. And then it opens up to everyone on the 28th if you don't have a card. But anyways, I am pumped to cover it. It's such a great sale. There's so many good fall staples every single year. And I'm just going to have everything linked down in the video description box for you guys. Super easy to shop. I'll also have a big blog post that you guys can reference that I'll put down in the video description box as well. Let's jump right in. All right, so I tried to narrow it down this year with finding things within certain price points. Like for example, these are my fave non-distress denim at a really good price point. I think they're $58. They're the cut from the cloth brand. They're just really, really pretty and like a really nice quality denim. I have bought this pair, not this pair, but this brand of denim before in the sale and I'm always so pleased with them. Everyone is always like, those look like they would be the price of like Paige or Good American, but they're $58. Um, they fit true to size. This is a size four. They're nice and stretchy. They're perfect for boots too. Like if you wanna do over the knee boots, or higher boots, they work perfect. This is a really good graphic. I only really liked, sorry, I'm getting used to this new Osmo. I got a new one. So this is the, there's two graphics that I really liked in this year's sale. This one is the Daydreamer brand, which I got a graphic from last year that was a Daydreamer brand, and it was my favorite too. I still wear it all the time. They fit true to size. I just like this one because of the coloring on it. The other ones were like super bright and two summer vibes in my opinion. I already have a ton of those from Target. I don't need any more of those. And then there's another one that's 18 bucks. I will link that for you guys too. I'll have that for my second try on. I ordered it online, it's just not here yet. And then the booties are, I'd say these are probably my favorite just basic booty in this sale. They're Vince Camuto, which are super comfy. They have a nice little notch. The heel is not too tall and they're really comfy. Vince Camuto and Steve Madden are both pretty similar, but sometimes I feel like Vince Camuto can be a little more comfortable and they're 10 more dollars in the Steve Madden pair. So I went with these this year. And then jewelry wise, the Tory Burch earrings, which I love every single year. These are a little bigger than my last ones and I love the braiding. I believe this is bubble bar. A lot of the necklaces and jewelry that I really loved are two-toned this year, which I like because you can mix your jewelry, wear some silver, wear some gold. And I love this chain. It's really, really cute. Let me pop on my biker jacket to show you guys um, over this too. Okay, this is the Blank NYC Moto jacket. This is the faux leather, which I love. It is so chic. They're always a staple in the sale. If you don't have a good faux leather jacket, I love this one. I believe it's like 59 bucks. Fits true to size, but if you wanna do like sweaters or anything bigger over it, then go up. I will put it on so you guys can see the actual fit, but I just wanna show you guys really quickly. They also have a really good cognac, like suede, faux suede, that I will get in for my next try on that I love. Um, let me put this one actually on my body. Okay, here is a closer look at the jacket on. I love the sleeves that you can unzip them for like a little different like chic look. I would say true to size, honestly. This is a small, I love the fit of it. It's such a good everyday like fall moto jacket that I feel like everyone just needs a moto jacket for the evenings like when they're going out. I just think it like elevates your outfit and I love this brand. I have multiple jackets from them. All right, so onto my absolute favorite sweater in the sale. The Free People turtleneck is so comfy. This one, it's big. I typically size down one size in these. They didn't have an extra small in the store. This is a small, so you see, if you get your normal size, how big it really is, which I kinda like it this year because I honestly love wearing these with leggings and over the knee boots. I'm gonna style it multiple ways for you guys if it doesn't sell out right away, but I love it. It is so comfortable and I'm wearing the same gen uh, denim. These are the Steve Madden flats that I am obsessed with. These will go so fast. Size up a half size, I'm wearing a nine, just so you have a little extra room in the back. Last year I sized up on my Steve Madden flats. This year, size up a half size too. These do come in four colors. I love the tweed. 
they're really cool too. I'm like, I need to maybe get those. They have like, they're such Chanel vibes, but look at like the quality and the comfort. I just, I'm obsessed with this. Sorry, it's all construction back here. <laughs> it's not the cutest right now, but I think that this sweater and these, these mules will go very, very fast. 100% my absolute favorite flannel in the Nordstrom sale. I feel like this is the only one that I wanted this year. I got it in two colors because I bought one similar to it last year wear it all the time and it is longer in the back so it works with leggings too i wore the, i wore my similar one like literally non-stop i got it in this color this year and the green because i wore it so much i was like i love it i love the oversized plaid it is just so cute and then these are my favorite like spendy skinny jeans they are distressed they're good american um which they're so nice they just fit really good. They're true to size. I'm wearing a size four. They're really comfy, super stretchy. And then I have the Vince Camuto booties on again, but I love the distressing on these too. They're kind of like the frame jeans from last year, but these feel like, I don't know, they fit me really good. And I, I was like nervous about the jeans this year because I'm like, oh, like I gained weight during COVID and I was like, nothing's gonna fit. And the jeans are really good. I came home with more jeans, I think. Than other things so the jeans are good i love these i'm such a denim person like i love a good pair of denim um, and these are really super pretty if you guys like good american distressed they're a really good brand i think they're like 109 so they are a little expensive but they're normally like maybe 200 but i think this is like around 30 for the flannel must have love this flannel so much okay i'm hooked on this flannel i promise you will love it it is so comfortable and it has the softest fabric I love this color this year. So pretty. I like could not decide. I was like, I love the fit of these so much. They're just more relaxed. You know when a flannel is like boxy and stiff? This is soft, so comfortable, and so cute with leggings too. I will definitely style this multiple ways with leggings, over the knee boots. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, another absolute favorite top. I didn't get too many just like everyday tops, but this one and the flannel, solid. This comes in multiple colors. Also comes in white, it's free people. It is long in the back. I need to see what size I got. You know what, I think I did extra small. Let me double check. I actually did get an extra small, so I did size down, but it's still long enough to cover the butt. I feel like if I went up to the small, it'd be too low here, and I like the casual unbuttoned look of having a few of them unbuttoned. So I typically always size down one in these tops. What I love about this top in particular is the kind of the same thing I love about that flannel. It's long enough to wear with leggings and you can also tuck it in for like a really another like cute chic look. Um, and it looks really good layered under jackets for fall, for winter. I just love the style of it. It is so comfy and just so good. Okay, and I really wanted a shirt jacket this year because for me, it's essentially a jacket in Texas. This is so cute, will be so good with leggings. This is the thread and supply one. It does have really cozy pockets. The inside is kind of like this soft, jersey material it is nice and thick and it is so cute it's like not too bulky some shirt jackets you're like that is just not attractive this one is so good and the pockets are so soft when you put your hands inside of it i'm just wearing it over the free people top would be really cute with just like a white tee or like this top in white or even actually the green is fine too i'm always just used to wearing white as like a base layer but so cute i love this one there were a few other options there's like a BP one, but I really love this one and it's 35 bucks. Wanted to show you guys super quick how cute it is, like with the sleeves rolled up too. This gives it like another, I don't know, another little style. I think it's so cute. My hair's getting messy, <laughs> changing so much. Okay, I'm a blazer girl. Blazer girl at heart. I love blazers. And this one is so good. It's like a blazer slash jacket. It is normally like 90 bucks. It's 49 bucks during the sale. It is so nice and fitted and tailored. And it just, oh my gosh, I literally love it. So pretty. Same good American jeans, which I don't want to take off because I'm realizing they might be my absolute favorite in the sale. And then I just put on one of my white tees. They have some really good white basic tees in the sale. This is just my Z Supply one that I can link for you guys. But they have plenty of like basic v-neck white tees, but I just got some and I'm like, I don't really need any more. Although I do have the free people one coming that I'll share with you guys soon. Oh, 
I love this blazer. These necklaces are great. I don't know if I showed you guys the necklaces yet. This is the two-tone one, and this is the plain gold and the Tory Burch earrings. I might have showed you guys those at the beginning. So cute. All right, you guys know I'm a big hat girl, and this is a big hat. It's huge. Like I'm used to my Amazon hat, so I'm not used to the size of this hat. I'm like, is this offensive how huge it is? Um, it's pretty dang sweet though. I like it. I think I like it worn down like this better. I don't know. It's huge. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for a massive <laughs> hat that has like good structure, this is the only one that I liked for structure. It's 25 bucks too. So it is cute, but I'm so used to my Amazon hats that I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this one. But this cardigan, I only found a couple cardigans. This is the Madewell cardigan. I love this cardigan every single year. They had it last year too, but this is slightly different in coloring. It's true to size. Such a good Madewell find. I think this, I only got a couple Madewell things. It was this and a dress, but I always think that this is such a good one and it's always a number one seller in the sale. Okay, I saw this. This is from Madewell. It is so comfortable. It's actually a little oversized too. It's just a cute little t-shirt dress. It has like a little bit of ribbing on it. Really good quality. Super, super comfy. I'm wearing a size small. And then these are my favorite boots that are not over the knee and not booties just like a good little western boot so cute little square toe from vince camuto they do um zip up on the side which is nice and they are just cute i love them so much all right i'm really pumped about this coat so i had a couple of coats on my wish list I went to Nordstrom and saw this one in person and I was like, this is the coat. Like, I just feel like it looks very, very high end. It's very comfortable, has pockets. It's just really a pretty, pretty fall winter coat. I still have the same dress on, but I put on some over the knee boots. These are Steve Madden and they are awesome. They stay up so well on your legs. True to size, they're like 89 bucks in the sale and they are comfy too. Like these are really nice for over the knee boots that are, you know, under a hundred bucks. If you're wanting to go all out, go for the Mark Fisher or the Stuart Weitzman. They're a little more expensive, but this is like a good affordable pair of over the knee boots that will stay up on your legs. Okay, so next up, this is my favorite casual jacket. I feel like this looks just like that Free People jacket, the quilted one that everyone freaked out about earlier this year and like sold out everywhere. But this one's 35 bucks. It looks shiny on the website. It's not shiny. So keep that in mind. It is a truly, I would say like for me, I uh, went up to a medium because I wanted it to be oversized like that Free People one is, but it's super cozy quilted, comfy jacket. And then these are, I'm so excited that Levi's are in the sale. They definitely run snug. So I sized up to a 28 in these are the classic 501s. They have a little bit of distressing, nothing too crazy, high waist, and they're like 64 or something, maybe less. I don't know, a really good price for like really nice quality Levi's jeans. Still wearing the Vince Camuto booties because they're Amazing, but the price on this jacket, oh, I'm so excited for it. All right, so a great basic. This is the Free People Tee. I ordered this in white too, because I just love this oversized, cozy t-shirt. I feel like these are always like a must for me. I love them so much. And these are blank NYC denim that I actually love. They look like, kind of like remind me of A Gold jeans um size 27 so i would say true to size in these and then these booties you guys they're pretty legit right look at them they're pretty intense like they're gonna stick out because they have this chain but you guys are pretty fun they're definitely like a statement they fit true to size they come in both this color and black okay so i've been trying on clothes here for a minute right and i just slipped these pants on i saw these in the store and i was like Mm -hmm. Those are my love language. Those are my security blanket. And they're Adidas, which I love Adidas. I used to work for Adidas. They are legit, you guys. They have a little Adidas here, the little drawstring here. They are long. They're flare cozy sweatpants. I mean, I am almost 5'9", and they are long enough. I love these. And then this is just a Zella tank. I could do without it. Like, there's nothing special about it whatsoever. I don't think I'll keep it. 
I was trying to find some like cuter workout stuff, but I just feel like I'm such an Amazon workout person that I'm like, I love their stuff. So I didn't really care for a lot of the active wear to be honest with you, but the pants, get the pants. These are a treat. These are like a cupcake at the end of the day. I did buy this True & Co bra, which I am really excited about. The ratings on these bras right now are insane and it's so soft and I love the pretty back on this. I'm gonna put this on right now with some biker shorts and like a cozy top and show you guys. Okay, so two pieces that are like more athleisure to me that I like. This is Sweaty Betty, just like a long, cozy, oversized top. And I'm pairing it with the Zella. Like, I guess this would be considered active wear, but for me, it reminds me of like my airy biker shorts, but this has more compression. Um, it does have that like same ribbed material, which I love about my airy ones, but these might be better for like, if you're actually wanting to work out, cause Zella is more of an active wear brand. But this is the winner of the entire outfit. The these Adidas are so good. They definitely run a bit big. I got an eight and a half and my toes not even hitting. So I would go down a half size. But for me, I don't know when I'm walking sometimes and I'm wearing my socks and you know, I need a little extra space, but everyone says to go down a half size. So just depending, cause I do have, I mean, look at the space I have back there. They are pretty big, but they are cute. And they also have them in black, but I love this leopard. Okay, so I guess this would be considered active wear because it's Zella. It's just like this cozy wrap coat that I like love the style of. I'm wearing the same Zella um, biker shorts. This is a size small. This jacket comes in a lot of colors and I feel like it is so cute. Like I just love this asymmetrical button up here. Like throw it on, oh my gosh, it's cute. And then these are holy comfort, you guys. These are also Adidas, but they fit true to size. I'm wearing an eight and a half. And these are for like, you know, for running, for high impact, working out. Like, oh yeah, these are, these have some really good support. And I love the color of these too. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this try on with Barefoot Dreams. I have more Barefoot Dreams stuff and more jammies coming, like my socks that I buy every year. I order those online. So I have another try on that I'm gonna share, so stay tuned. I'm gonna have a few Nordstrom videos over the next few days for you guys. But anyways, Barefoot Dreams, uh, loungewear jammy set, long sleeves, baller. <laughs> I wish I would've sized up to a medium. I don't know why I got a size small. I should've got a medium so it was more oversized, but this robe, I love it. It's new this year, you guys. It is like, I love the ribbing detail. I haven't seen one like this before. So comfy. It does have the, oh, uh, Barefoot Dreams robes are luxury. Small, this is a size small medium. I would skip the pajamas and get the robe because the pajamas are good, but I don't know, like the robe. Like I, I have pajamas that are soft, you know? But this robe, it's like a luxury. <laughs> All right, guys, that is everything for today's Nordstrom anniversary sale try on. I, like I said, I'm gonna have more of these. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. I am going to have another try on. I'm gonna have a video with some home stuff, some lifestyle stuff, the beauty. I'm gonna share some of my favorites. And then I might do like a shop with me. I don't know, I might be getting in over my head, but make sure you're subscribed because I have these more of these videos coming out over the next few days. And anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.